Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a repair video on a Gallagher um, M600. The biggest complaint right now that the customer's got is that the terminal bolt's all burnt up on there. You can see it's all ate away. Um, I, I need to call Gallagher and double check with them, but as of like a year or so ago in 2022, uh, Gallagher decided to discontinue and stop stocking that part. So we came up with a another way to fix because that's like a, a $2 part so you know it's pretty silly that they did that but this is what we're going to do I'm going to push them let's plug it in see if it comes on and clicks and pulses and does its job first you see the lights are flashing doing its thing let's uh, pull the, this knob off here let's uh, that one's kind of that one's kind of burnt up too, so we'll check both. We'll probably change both of them. See, it's putting out. At almost 7,000 volts, out of which is about normal for these things. So let's tear into this thing and see what we can find out for them. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate that. Here's our information right here. There are links down in the description below that take to will take you right to our website, but it's fencerfixer.com. And we also work on low bars and scales for mostly Gallagher and True Test, livestock scales, uh, cattle scale repair.com is our website there. So let's uh <laughs> let's take this apart. This has got different screws in it. These usually are a T10 tamper proof, and these have got T15s in them. So, somewhere along the line, they made a change. That bigger flat blade screwdriver. Give me a second. All right, pull this apart. Get that orange piece popped off here. Pull the back cover off. Don't pull the front cover off. You'll just make it a, a bigger mess for you and what it needs to be. Jeez. All right, this is. Let's see, it's a 2009 circuit board, 2009 transformer, and 2009 uh, made unit. So this has got all the original parts to it. So it's never been worked on before, so that's pretty nice. Let's check this capacitor real quick. We'll put our meter on capacitance. There's no polarity to it. it should be 30 and ring 27.8, so that's close enough. So that's nice. One thing we need to do is this copper rod here. They made a change on these uh, at some point in time, but they want you to cut it back to about right here. And that goes right back here. That's your internal lightning rod. They didn't want that to arc across this thing, all, which goes all the way down here, which would come across that area where your fencing ground or your um, AC power cord was at. To lessen the chance of it arcing across there and burning it up. I put that board off to the side as well as the back case. You need that stuff right now. Okay, so let's take. We're not going to be able to use these anymore, so I'll keep those as spare parts because we have to put a different bolt in this thing. And I do not remember off the top of my head what 
thread type this is. So what we did, I've got different bolts and things here that we I bought at the Ace Hardware. I took one of these with me, and uh, or maybe it's the knob I took down there. One of them I took down to the Ace Hardware, and I found that on the wall there, uh, as you go back with the nuts and bolts along the wall, they've got a little chart thing with a bunch of holes and for your bolts to go in and as well as bolts sticking out you can put your nuts and knobs on so you can see what you know which size you got so that's what I did and I found one that will that works so let me we got a couple of different ones that we like to use depending on what we're doing Let's see if it has a this is the size that it is. It is a M12, which is the size of it, by 1.75, which I believe is the pitch of the threads. And we bought a 30 millimeter physical size. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to get a little bit of wire here. And I'm going to cut it to about this length right there. That's way more than I need, but I just want to it have to be black and red, it's just the wire I had sitting here close by. It can be yellow, green, yellow, blue, white. Pick your color of the rainbow. I'm just going to cut this. Huh? Don't think so. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this insulation, strip it off, and we're gonna get a ring connector that will fit around the head of this bolt. And I'm trying to remember right where I have mine at. This is the terminal, this is the ring connector we're gonna use. We're gonna use a, a 12, number 12 to 10 gauge wire, which is not either one of those, but the whole size we're looking for, 7 16th of an inch stud will fit in there so this is the size that we need we need a couple of these because this will allow us to put this over that like that Come on. All right, got that all on there. And that's going to go in that little hole right there. Also have this bolt right here. I think this one might lay a little lower. Let's see, yeah, it's not quite as tall. Not quite as tall, and it's a little longer. So let's wait on that one. Let's put this this one in first. All right, that sticks to the case a little bit, and then we'll take a. Um, I got a jam nut here. which is just a kind of a lower profile nut than the standard one. We'll shove that through. Put the nut on there first. And then we should, I don't think we're going to need a washer. We can put the washer on there. You need to put there on there before or after, but it's it's on there nice and tight. Ow. 
look at something real quick. I'm going to play with this for a minute, see which way I like to do this. Just take that washer, put that on like that, and I'll put this on like this. Yeah, I like that better. Let's get this piece right here where we want it, position-wise. And I'm going to grab another pair of pliers. I'm going to hold the back side. So it doesn't move on me. Tighten that up. You should be able to take, I believe the knob should thread right on there. Just like that. All right, now let's just see what it looks like with um, the red wire go. Oops. Let's see what it looks like with this one on there just for the heck of it. And then we'll get the uh, washer. Where the heck did it go? Put it on like that. And then we'll get. I think we're gonna need a. We'll get the taller nut. Take this knob and put it over here. I actually like that better because it actually goes up into the uh, knob some more. But let's lay this board down first and make sure that's, that this board is not going to hit something that it doesn't need to hit. Yeah. It's gonna hit that one over there. So what I'm gonna do is oh, I like I like this one better, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna use use the same one over here. But what we're gonna have to do, I mean that other one will work, but I like this other one better. But I'm gonna take my soldering iron and I'm going to heat the solder up and I'll pull the uh, spade connectors that are on the front side here. There's one there. And one there. We're gonna heat the solder up, suck the solder off, and then we're gonna pull the uh, pull those off. Get the solder on it, heat it up. Yeah, we gotta get to about 725, 750 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we're at 770. So it's hot enough. So we're gonna melt this solder and heat it up. Clean the tip first. See they're both gone now. 
Yeah, I've got three left. Does it need one? Okay, I'm going to go get one. Okay, so let's move this back over. Let's take... Let's take this back off. And I'll put one of those Allen head types on there. I just like the way it fit on there better. I'll put the washer on. And the nut. This red knob is on the hot side, which is right here. Okay, now we've got to thread these wires through here. These little holes here. And we'll cut them to length, which is kind of a little long. So it has a little bit of a little bit to play with here. Let's cut the rest a little bit more. Right there. And strip off. And now, we'll get solder out. Then we're going to tin these wires by adding some solder to them. And we're just going to cover these back up. And this is where we're going to solder our our um, wires to, is right, right back to where the old ones connectors used to be. Put solder on there, cover the holes. And I'm using some pliers because it's such a small area to grab onto to get pretty hot pretty fast so that solder is set at 784 degrees Fahrenheit Come on. Snip off the excess. Shove. All right, let's get this case back over here. Let's, um, let's squeeze you know, those a little bit better. We'll squeeze these a little bit, make, make sure that they're nice and snug fit. And then we'll plug the wires back on. Screws back in it. I'll go and grab a find another bolt for the ground side. Let's plug it back in here.
This is the kind of bolts that Gallagher should have used way back when anyways. Really stainless versus that pot metal mix crap they were using before. Seventy five hundred volts, roughly seven thousand something something volts. Find another bolt for that or nut for that. for the different brands. There's a one here. Let's Symbol on there. All done. Well, here's our information for you right here. Took a little time to do it, playing around with all the different bolts and knobs and combinations of stuff. I think I've got to narrow down what I want to use in the future. So, if you've got one of these you need to help us, give us a call. Happy to help you out working all brands and ages of these electric fence boxes, but fencerfixer.com is our website. Here's our address, phone number. Until next time, see you guys later on.